These are the machines that produce cotton thread. The factories grew and grew. There were many factories here in town. And the whole reason why the city is here is because of the success and prosperity of these cotton factories. The spinning machine is a relatively new machine, probably from about the 1950s. The age of the machines spans several decades, but we do have machines that tell almost the whole story. Spinning frame, which actually spins the raw cotton into thread or yarn, and also a winding machine, which winds the final threads onto a spool or a cone of any size. When you see the machines in motion, you have to imagine the tremendous noise that they made when the whole room full of machines were running, the vibration that people probably felt from a number of the machines, even perhaps even shaking the floor, the dust, also accidents, where if you got your fingers caught or your clothing caught or your hair caught in a machine, then the likelihood of being pulled or maimed on the machine was a pretty tragic thing that happened to many people. My name is Dale Plummer. I've been working as a volunteer for the uh, Mill Museum or the Wyndham Textile and History Museum for several years, uh, working on the machinery, uh, getting it going so that we can demonstrate you know, how this operated. What the spinning frame does is it takes roving the uh, large uh, bobbins or spools on the top of the machine uh, that has actually gone through several prior stages to produce cotton with the fibers parallel but twisted slightly so that it has some strength. But the spinning frame actually puts the uh, spin into that, twists it so that it becomes a, a yarn that has strength and that can be woven, say, in a loom or used uh, for thread, for sewing, or, or whatever. But this is the heart of the textile process.